if you are planning a trip to Kangaroo Island and you're thinking of you know, a good campsite on the east side, then we would highly recommend Anti Chamber Bay. Let's give you a look on what the two campsites look like. Hey everyone, it's Duncan and Ajani from Overland Journals. Uh, we're in Kangaroo Island right now and we got this beautiful campsite which is in Anti Chamber Bay. Now I will highly recommend it because it's pristine, you get access to a pristine beach and if you come kind of off season you've got the whole place to yourself. But I just want to take you through and show you there are two, you get Anti Chamber Bay north campsites and you get the south campsites now in this trip we are staying in the south campsite which is brilliant because it's right by the Chapman's river so every campsite has this river front and uh, it only costs you $16 per person per day uh, current prices uh, and the, the northern campsites I believe don't uh, have river access or river frontage but I'm gonna go to both right now and give you an idea of what both looks like uh, there are ablution facilities on both sides though when we came on this trip and I checked on the uh, parks national parks website it said that we had to go across the river from the south side to the north side to get to the ablutions and the facilities However, when we got here, we were quite pleasantly surprised. Um, they had put these portable toilets, so almost like one portable toilet per for every two campsites. Uh, no showers though, um, but uh, if you come fully prepared, then uh, it's no big deal. Like in our case, we've got a shower in the, in the shower system in our 4x4. So if you are planning a trip to Kangaroo Island and you're thinking of Know, a good campsite on the east side then we would highly recommend anti chamber bay um, so yeah let's give you a look on what the two campsites look like I'm going to give you a bit more information from as you come off the ferry you get down uh, at Penshaw and then from Penshaw to anti chamber bay campsites it's about 20 to 25 minutes drive um, perfectly good roads you don't necessarily have to have a 4x4 uh, any ordinary vehicle in a saloon car you can do it um, it's kind of you it, it, the reason why the two of us liked it is because it, you get that sense of isolation as well and at the same time it's closer to the town of Penishaw so anti-chamber bay is inside Lashma National Park or Conservation Park um, Chapman River uh, Chapman River flows into the uh, Southern Ocean and if you're staying on the south side it's about a 300 km 300 meter walk and you get to this pristine beach um, so we are about to turn into the north side and as you turn you can see the ocean in the distance it's a breathtaking view and and this is what you get wherever you go in this island uh, I mean Kangaroo Island has I believe about 530 kilometers of pristine um, coastline plenty of this kind of kangaroos over there plenty of wildlife if you like bird life tons as well so the drive we are now driving towards the north side campsites and um, it, it's a beautiful pleasant drive and if you come on a clear blue sky day today it's not it's a bit overcast but on a clear blue sky day it is absolutely stunning so this is the north camp campsite at Lashma or anti-chamber bay north campsite none of these campsites are riverfront but you still get quite easy access to the beach they all from what I see have got shade a lot of tree cover 
the ablution facilities are over there and I think there's barbecue facilities as well this sort of picnic table over there you want to sit and have a little bit of a picnic or eat and the beautiful thing is on the south side you've got to walk at least 300 meters to get to the beach and you get the beach to yourself but over here it's a very short walk so come with me and I'll show you get your own private beach so they are well posted so it's easy to find your way so it's it's about two to three minute walk from the campsites and then you get all this you get all this to yourself Isn't that something? From that end all the way, that's about two to three kilometers. So over there is what the locals call North Island, which is mainland Australia, or South Australia. And you've got this beautiful beach to yourself. Come check it out. And if you want to get to the riverfront, you could take the river track, which I'll show you in a minute or come back to where the ablutions were and then walk in the opposite direction to where you went for, to get to the beach and you get riverfront access. You get picnic tables if you need it to use. And there you have it, you've got riverfront as well. You can't camp here, but you can access the river the south side campsites where we are staying are on that side so every single campsite on the south side do have riverfront access you got all this so whichever one you choose whether it's north side or south side they're pretty awesome you get these beautiful views and uh, if you're into photography you would have a field day here sunrise sunset Because when we are in Adelaide, uh, South Australia, our, our sunrises, our, our coastline is to the west. So we get to see only sunsets. We don't really see sunrises over the ocean. Whereas here on the island, and if you're seeing on the east side of the island, you see the sun rises from the, from the coast. So you want to get a bit of that and do some photography, then here is the place for you to come to. And now let's take you across to the south side. So while you're on the north side, um, you do get a track that's called the river track. It gets you access to the Chapman River. So here we are now heading down on that track and um, you can drive all the way down to the river, I'm, I'm assuming. So it is a nice pleasant drive, plenty of local wildlife. We just had two wallabies run across the track as we drove. And um, the river is on to my left. That's the river there. And across on the river, are the south side campsites. Now we are in one of these. There's our campsite over That's there. Yeah. So you can drive by and you get to see yeah, the yeah. river and uh, you could possibly stop and get down by up to the river. That's where we are. We are right across from there. So, if you like riverfront campsites, then book the south side. If you don't want that, then you could have, you could try the north side campsites. You got a lot quicker access to the beach on the north side as compared to the south side. So there's a bit of flow. We've now turned off. It's what a 300 to 400 meters drive from the north side campsites to get to the turn off to the south side campsite. So basically, you get onto the other side of the river and then turn off. 
and here we are heading back towards where we are camping and that's also the south side campsites uh, always remember during fire ban season or summertime no uh, open fires allowed uh, I believe that starts from 1st of November uh, there is a bit of a confusion because as far as national parks are concerned there are fire ban starts I think 1st of November as far as the CFS is concerned it starts on 1st of December so just don't get that mixed up um, you cannot fly drones if you're thinking of getting some you know, drone footage you cannot fly drones not allowed in any national park in South Australia um, gas fires are allowed so if you've got a gas barbie or a gas stove of course no worries there all right so now that you've seen the north side campsites this is the south side campsites we are in number six uh, it's one of the smaller ones that um, that has worked that worked well for us because it's just the two of us one vehicle we're not pulling a trail or anything but each and every one of these campsites has got river frontage and um, we also found this kayak when we got here we initially thought that it had been left behind by somebody but it turns out that the, i think it's the parks uh, national parks have left a few not i don't think there's one per campsite but perhaps just a few scattered here and there we have seen a number of campers kayaking so that's pretty cool um yeah so you get all this river frontage and right over there is the river track i took when we were, when i was showing you the north side campsites and and it's right just after those trees in the distance and you can park off and then walk down to the river if you wanted to so that's our campsite as i said we took one of the smaller ones because that was good enough for us uh, so this is number six seven is adjoining us and that is slightly bigger and i'll take you through there and i'll show you that one that's quite bigger or larger compared to the one we've got uh, and again just to give you an idea that's ours over there and uh, this is number seven it's, there's a lot more space here if you want to uh, you know set up if you're if you're a larger group there's a lot more space the only difference is in some of these campsites is you can't pull the vehicle right up to it however they have provided parking space for vehicles so like for instance this is number seven and you've got all this space here to park your vehicles so that's quite a bit of space under this tree right that entire patch there you can park your vehicle so you can put a good sized trailer and a vehicle in here and then beyond that point there is where you can pitch up a tent or however you want to set up your campsite so a lot more space in this one and so you've got to pick and choose if you go to the national park website they will give you as much information as possible one thing i will tell you is uh, or maybe it was just me but when i was visiting national parks website and, uh, and they have one or a few pictures of every campsite the pictures don't do justice to the campsites um, uh, i felt that they could have done a better job of uh, displaying the beauty these campsites provides um, so yeah don't let the pictures put you off if, if you're looking for much much more detail information but yeah the, the highlight on the south side is the river so i hope you found this video useful and uh, good information if you're coming especially if you're planning a trip to kangaroo island the east side if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please hit the subscription button and the notification bell because my channel is all about sharing my experiences in overlanding with the rest of the overlanding community thanks for watching